Um, I developed a course called Training in Infectious Disease Outbreak Response. We actually gamified our course um, by putting the students into two different teams. So we had Team Orange and we had Team Yellow. We gave them vests to uh, uh, symbolize their team. And we had the two teams competing with, with each other. Um, we also had a real-time scoreboard as a motivator, which was very interesting. And I think all of this really stimulated the, the innate um, motivation of the students. Yeah, it was a really fun day. We had a great time. Um, so we did a couple of different things. We um, trapped for mosquitoes. We actually did a trip to the morgue to visit a, a clinical pathologist. Um, and we've also gotten some electron microscopy images of our virus. Um, and so we've done a lot of different things today to try to um, figure out what agent we're working with here. Yeah, and we're really enjoying the team aspect of the course. <laughs> um, we spent all of our breaks today um, actually brainstorming to come up with ways that we could mm -hmm. score more imaginary points. Yeah, it's really great because it's kind of a microcosm of real life where you have multi multidisciplinary folks, you know, interacting with each other, and each one kind of brings a unique set of skills that yeah. are, that are helpful and kind of coming up with a good solution to our problems. Yeah, so Courtney and I do more research-focused um, work. So we do vaccines and therapeutics in the lab. And then there's other students that are um, in medical school. There's other students with expertise in entomology and epidemiology. So it's kind of interesting because everyone's coming together to really solve a problem. So it's it's been really fun. So my role in the course was to act like a physician <laughs> and to try to gauge the students to ask the questions that they think that a physician would like to know and to gauge that information from a physician of what they need to help with an outbreak. What labs need to be drawn or what samples do they need? How do they want us to collect the samples and to kind to bounce what they need off of what we can do clinically. And so that was a lot of fun to try and figure out how to put the two minds together and answer their questions in a way that can actually help them. Um, I enjoyed working in the teams. Um, it's always fun to do kind of team-based learning and uh, it really brings to the table everybody's different experiences and expertise. Uh, you have a lot of people looking at the problem different ways um, and having differing opinions and you get a lot of debate going on about what could be going on here or there. Um, so there was a lot of debate, um, a lot of discussing of the problems. As soon as you come into the class, you get sort of this um, alert via email. So the communication is all via email. And you get an alert about um, a case that has come into a local hospital. And um, you get a little bit of information about what's happening with that case. Um, and they think it's some sort of infectious disease and they want to figure out what's happening. So. Um, you, you kind of focus on um, what's going on just based on that first initial piece of information and then you get live updates via email um, pretty regularly. So that's the way that they communicate with you and it's like just a really interesting way of um, keeping the class going and keeping people interested. I think we're dealing with a new generation of learners. I think the millennials um, are very tech savvy and so we had to address them and, and the multi-technological uh, ways that they are used to. One really cool part of the course was actually visiting the morgue um, because we never get to do anything on the clinical side, much less do something like that. So that was really fun. And so uh, Dr. Aronson um, walked us through the typical procedures um, for uh, an autopsy. And uh, then she did walk us through histopathology slides and each tissue and she pointed out the different cell populations, and so it was just a really uh, unique experience that you don't get from other courses. So. One aspect of the course was dealing with the public. It's involved both scientific writing and scientific communication, and that's something that as scientists, as PhD students, we don't get a lot of exposure to, and that's something I've had um, a little bit of interest in, um, but this course really made me realize that at some point I would like to have um, a fair amount of involvement with the public in terms of communication, scientific writing, and um, that's something I really enjoy and like to analyze. I think active learning has always been very useful. Um, I think that um, the way that active learning has progressed over the years, uh, we have emphasized it, but we have always had it, to be honest. We have, especially in biomedical science education, Dennis's course is that it's based on theme-based learning and problem-based learning and um, the use of small portable devices clearly allows this and facilitates. 
And one thing that we see every year is that students enjoy lectures from Dr. Kaizek and Dr. Weaver and Dr. Leduc um, because they discuss real life stories. They talk about virus hunting, they talk about outbreak, outbreak response, they talk about what the CDC does in cases like that. So I decided that I wanted to develop a course um, that mimics some of those ideas and puts the students in a situation where they can actually go through these um, applied situations. Uh, so at one point in the course, we thought that the, um, the infectious agent might be mosquito-borne. So um, to further study this, we went and collect, we actually collected local mosquito populations. This is something that I have a lot of experience in. Um, I've actually been doing this as part of my studies for years. So I got to explain some of the trapping techniques that we do, how different trap sites and different techniques select for different mosquito populations, and go and show my team how to set up those traps. Um, after we collected the traps the next day, I got to walk my team through mosquito identification using a, um, an identification key and talk to them about the different mosquito species and why we care about which species are present and how they transmit diseases differently. So it was a fantastic opportunity for me to apply my own expertise to the team setting. So I, I think a class like this really does uh, put our students ahead of the pack in that they will have been building on a solid foundation of academic achievements and uh, classroom learning this practical aspect is over and above the traditional university experience and I think will be looked upon favorably by employers from a whole wealth of different uh, occupational tracks.